Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another video in my cleaning habits series. I've already done general habits for a clean home and also habits for a clean room. If you've missed either of those videos, I will have them linked down below. Today we are going to be tackling the kitchen. And for me personally, the kitchen is the one room in the house that I need to keep clean for my own sanity. Because if the kitchen is messy, I instantly feel stressed out. I think that's because it's the center of the house. It's my favorite room. It's where I spent a lot of time. So so these are the little things that you can do every day that aren't going to take a lot of time. They're going to keep everything clean and it's going to prevent a mess from accumulating. Also, just a little heads up, there's a very exciting giveaway at the end of this video, so make sure you stay tuned to hear about that. And with all of that said, let's go ahead and jump into my habits for keeping a clean kitchen. So the first thing I recommend is to clear off countertop clutter. A lot of people I notice tend to keep every kitchen appliance they own on their countertops, even if they're not using them very often. And this just takes up a lot of counter space and it looks visually very cluttered. So we now only keep out the appliances that we use pretty much daily, which for us is the blender and toaster oven. Everything else we just keep stored down in cabinets and we take them out and put them back as we use them. Decluttering your countertops is going to instantly make your kitchen look a lot cleaner. So if you take nothing else from this video, it's this tip, and that is to get in the habit of cleaning while you cook. One tip is to keep a container lined with a plastic bag on your countertop to use as a mini garbage can to collect scraps and contain your mess while you're cooking. This just makes it a lot easier. In my case, we have our trash and recycling in a drawer right off the island. So I do my food prep right next to it with that drawer open so I can just put the mess right into the trash and this just makes cleanup super easy. I also put away each food item right after I use it. I always tend to make a mess around the stove so I keep these little wipes in the drawer right under the stove to quickly wipe away any mess before it has the chance to dry up and get harder to clean. Especially when baking, I do all of my measuring over the sink so that flour and sugar and stuff doesn't get all over the place. Now this might sound obvious, but if anything drops to the ground, I pick it up right away. Otherwise, sometimes you might forget about it and it could attract bugs or your pets might eat it. Another huge tip is to just slow down in general. I find that the bigger the rush I'm in, the bigger the mess I make. So I just try to relax and give myself a good amount of time to cook and take my time cooking and cleaning along the way. As far as keeping dishes in order, this is my process. The first is that we instituted a rule that we do not leave dishes in the sink. I like to load the dishwasher from the back to the front because it uses the space most efficiently and it also makes it really easy to visually see how much space you have left. So our system is that I run the dishwasher at night and then Ryan unloads it in the morning when he wakes up. This is just what works for us, but what's really important I found is that you unload the dishwasher right away. Otherwise, there's going to be a dish pileup going on and you're gonna have a backup and it just starts a big mess. So this is my nighttime cleaning process I do typically after dinner and it only takes around five, 10 minutes max. The first step is to clear off any junk that's accumulated on the countertops or the kitchen island. For some reason, our kitchen island is just a magnet for stuff, so I put all of that away. And then I take my DIY counter cleaning spray and I quickly spray down all of the countertops and anything else that looks especially dirty. A lot of times our oven and refrigerator door has fingerprints all over it, so I'll just quickly wipe that down. Then I do a really quick rinse out of the sink. I don't like to leave any food or anything left in there because it can start to smell and attract bugs. So I just like to rinse this out. Not every night, but every few days or so, I'll grab my vacuum and do a quick sweep around the kitchen. I'm obsessed with this vacuum because it's cordless, so it makes it super convenient. It's also not very loud. It works extremely well. I love this thing. I think I've mentioned it before. Some other little bonus tips. I recently bought an air filter for the kitchen and it helps so much, especially if your husband likes to cook really smelly food like mine does. It just keeps the kitchen smelling really fresh. I also recommend organizing your pantry if you haven't done so yet. This has helped me so much in keeping my kitchen in order. I did an entire video on my process for this. I will leave that link down below. And I also have a refrigerator organization video coming up very soon, so look out for that. 
All right guys, so those are some of the really quick and easy things I do on a regular basis to keep my kitchen clean. If you guys did enjoy it, then give this video a thumbs up. And also as promised, I have a very exciting giveaway for you guys. Personally, this is my favorite giveaway that I've ever done because I am giving away my all time favorite cleaning product. And that is a Dyson cordless vacuum. I mentioned it in the video, I showed myself using it. This isn't sponsored by the way, it just literally is the best cleaning product that I own. It's so convenient, it works so well, it's a total game changer this is going to be an international giveaway I'm selecting one winner two weeks from today all the details are going to be down below so if you want to be entered to win you just need to be subscribed to my channel following me on Instagram which is the same as my channel name Vassar Beauty and then just leave any comment down below that's all you need to do I'm going to randomly select from the comments two weeks from today like I said all the other details are going to be listed down in the description box so check there and thank you guys so much as always for watching good luck to everyone entering the giveaway and I will see you next week with a new video bye hey guys I got a little secret for you Brittany thinks I help out with all the cleaning around here? Well, I really don't. I actually have a secret weapon. <sighs> right here. She picks up all the food, all the spills, all the liquids, and the best part is, she's always on call. And I don't have to pay her anything, except for a couple belly rubs. A secret weapon. That's yeah, redo. Because you turn that off right after you do it. Why, you, you can... It's not my contract. <laughs>